previously on a version. Christian wakes up at Gadahan Hospital and can't remember anything. He's carrying half a photograph of a person he can't recognize. The doctor tells him it is the year 2035 and that the city of Buenos Aires has been taken over by a paramilitary group that is keeping him hostage. There, he meets Victoria, another patient in prison, and together they think up an escape plan. Once outside the hospital, Victoria tells him that she is part of the resistance and suggests he should contact Pablo, someone who might help him ID the man in the photo. When he meets Pablo, Kristen learns that the Resistance wants the government to bring back order, and for that, they need information from a mole, with whom they have lost contact. Kristen looks for the mole, but only finds his body... and his ID. Following this lead, he gets to the right address to check out the place, and to his surprise, he finds the other half of the photo of himself dressed as a scientist. So he goes back to Pablo's hideout to look for answers. But he has been kidnapped by the paramilitary group. However, he has left an important tip. He must go to the School of Engineering. There, he figures out the path to one of the secret bases of the Resistance, where he finds Victoria, as well as the man in the photo, but he is several years older. Reversion, Chapter 3, The Return. You, you're the professor in the photo. Christian, it's been so long. Gosh, I'm glad to see you. Welcome. Christian? Me? You? Uh... Victoria told me you lost your memory. I'm Nicholas. I was your teacher at college and we worked as colleagues. I'm sorry, but everything's a blur. I see. What counts is that now you are safe. I appreciate your worries, but I'm here for answers. Where do I begin? For example, tell me, have I really traveled through time? It's a long story. Our teleportation machine failed. An open space-time hole which sucked us in. So, am I really a scientist? Did I make a teleportation machine? One step at a time. I better tell you everything from scratch. Let me know when you're ready to listen. At least this time they don't disappear and leave me with no answers. It's Victoria. Hello? What's up? Thank you. You put yourself in danger letting them get you. You took a risk to contact me. You're welcome. When Nicholas found out someone had arrived through a wormhole, he was sure it was you. He never lost hope. Most of us already thought you were dead. That sounds hard. The lives of all of us have been very hard since the incident. What matters is that Nicholas was right. And now you're here to give us a hand. Of course. You can count on me. I have the intel files I found in Esteban's house. Perfect. That information is very valuable. Take good care of it. It cost the life of one of us. I never thought I wouldn't see Esteban again. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. No problem. It's hard to get used to the loss of people you love. Together with the files, I found the other half of the photo I had. I am part of this photo. Esteban had told Nicholas he had found a photo. And he was really excited with the finding. You should show it to him. How many more are there in the Resistance? Not much more than what you see here. Nicholas, me... Pablo, if he's still alive. And a few more. When Nicholas recruited us, we were hundreds. But Sergio's forces hunted us down like rats. What kind of information did Esteban collect? 
Nikolov's initial plan was to rebuild the machine. So one of us could go back to the past and prevent the incident. But he got stuck again in the formula of the pulse stabilizer. And without your help, he was never going to finish it. Later on, the mission turned into stopping Sergio and getting Argentina to be what it once was. Esteban worked as a double agent in that mission to find information to hack Sergio's communication center. Now there's one more in the resistance. Every person counts. Thanks. You're welcome. No, oh, this is a fire extinguisher. I think it's great that Nicholas respects safety norms. I don't need a fire extinguisher. This console must be to operate the teleportation machine. I'd better not turn it on. They haven't made it work yet. That's the table Nikolas must work at. It's full of papers with notes. They're the attempts of Nikolas to make the machine operational. I don't want to take any of this. It's Nikolas's. It's Nicholas. Professor. Yes. I'm ready to listen. Ready to listen? Listen to what? You told me to let you know when I was ready. Hmm, I guess you're still confused. Time travel must affect you too much. Anyway, since you're here, I'm going to tell you my story. I might have lost my memory, but the professor looks quite confused. The good thing is that I'm finally going to get some answers. Everything started in Innovate. The science and technology failed to shape the future. Represented my lifelong project, the teleportation machine. Which of course needed financing to come true. During my research, my colleagues treated me like a crazy dreamer. So it was rewarding when the first person interested in the machine showed. He turned out to be some Sergio, an unscrupulous businessman. Should I agree to work with someone like that? I didn't know if it was the right thing to do, but the opportunity was unique. So I tried to convince him of the benefits we'd get. <laughs> Finally, a few weeks later, I decided to sign. That contract was the beginning of it all. Several months of hard work followed, but your presence plus Victoria and Florencia made all that work bearable. Finally, the day for the machine startup arrived. Everything looked right, but something failed. The machine opened up a hole that sucked me in. Christian, that hole turned out to be a time hole. Suddenly, I was in a destroyed Buenos Aires. I found little Victoria, who had grown up. She helped me figure it out. Sergio had taken advantage of the destruction wave and the following chaos to overtake the city held by a paramilitary group. Buenos Aires was isolated from the rest of the country under Sergio's dictatorship. Since then, we have organized a resistance together as a way to redeem myself for the great damage that my invention had caused. But I soon understood that stopping Sergio would not be an easy task. And to do that, many would have to continue suffering. And why every time I hear the name Sergio, I get sick to my stomach. There are many things in this lab back from when we worked together. If you want to, you may go over them. I'm sure that it'll help you remember. 
Thanks a lot, Nicholas. It's full of garbage. There's nothing useful there. What is that for? I guess I'm going too fast. I have to process information bit by bit. If I touch any of this, Nicholas will want to kill me more than Sergio. This must be the famous teleportation machine. I guess that looking at it brings back some memories. I worked on this project for many years. I can never forget it all. I'd better not touch it. I don't want to get in trouble. These formulas here look familiar. Or it might be my mind playing tricks on me with fake memories. It's perfectly aligned. There's no need to arrange it. It looks very comfortable. It's not the time to sit for a rest. It's Nicholas's computer. I better not touch it. I don't want Nicholas to get mad at me. That's the table Nicholas is full of papers with notes. They're the attempts of Nicholas to make the machine operational. I don't want to take any of this. It's Nicholas's. Professor. Yes. How come the teleportation machine failed? A sabotage! Sergio wanted to keep my invention! And sabotage the pulse stabilizer you designed! To make me believe I had failed! But the machine responded in an unexpected way! Affecting not only the matter, but also the time! Obviously the equations in my theory had application that even I didn't know! I designed what? The pulse stabilizer, yes, that made the machine stabilize and work properly. You realized about the problem and you designed it. You pulled us out of a dead end street. I can't believe I created something like that. Yes, you did, though you were, I mean, are so young. You are a brilliant scientist. It appears you were going to surpass my talent. Why did the machine make us travel through time? The machine worked transporting the matter through a wormhole. But evidently the implications underlying the physics we discovered have ramifications which I've never considered. Wormholes? I think I read about that. In some files I found. I should show them to him. How could they sabotage the machine? Even today we don't know exactly what Sergio did. But I'm sure he added modifications to your stabilizer. But how could he modify something I designed? The lab where we worked had security cameras in all entrances. The only possible chance was that there was a mall in our team. Do you suspect someone? Are you hungry? Victoria could fix you something. That was weird. Why did he dodge the question? Why was Sergio the only one interested in such a machine? Sergio was a member of a very dangerous mob net, Christian. Right after the incident, he managed to respond very fast with an elite team. Because he had it beforehand. I suppose no other investor approached me because Sergio was threatening them. I guess I'm beginning to understand the whole story. Did I lose my memory? I suppose you were more exposed than me to the electromagnetic radiations of the portal. That must have altered the synapse processes in your brain. When you have time, you should see a doctor. Do you think I'll get my memory back? We might stimulate it with memories that were important for you. What's the plan? The plan? Oh, of course, the plan. I've been trying to replicate your formula for years. The one to build your famous pulse stabilizer. 
which allows the machine to work properly. You should check out the board. That's as far as I could get. Let's see if I can exercise my memory a little. Did the temporal hold drop us at different points in the future? In temporal terms, I got here first, ten years ago. We've been working a lot since then, to build the resistance. Did you have any hope that I'd arrive? At some point, Mars stopped waiting for you, but I never lost hope to see you again. Christian, I'm so happy to see you. I have new hopes for our plans. Who's Florencia? That name sounds familiar. Where did you hear that name? You mentioned her when you were telling the story. She worked with us at the beginning of the project. It's really not that important. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome. That photo? I remember the moment as it had been yesterday. We got it taken before I went to innovate. Since everything came out well, we thought the photo was a lucky charm. We decided to cut it in half and keep a part each. How come you have the whole photo? I've always had the part you're in. Thanks to it, Victoria agreed to help me. The other part was in Esteban's safe at his place. Right! Esteban had told me about a picture of you! This little thing filled me with excitement! Thank you for showing it to me! It's the complete photo of Nicholas and me. Such good memories. These are Esteban's intel files. Unfortunately, he... Hmm, how can I put this? Died in the line of duty. Victoria told me. Esteban was a brave ally and a great friend. The files he got for us are very important. They will allow us to access the communication center. It's important that you keep them. They'll be of much use in the future. Hmm, no. It's the intel information Esteban collected. There are two blueprints. One of them looks like some kind of machine. The other, though, is the blueprint of a device. For some reason, they look familiar. Nicholas told me to look at these formulas. Pulse stabilizer. Teleportation machine. I'm remembering something. Nicholas was blocked, but I couldn't give up. I worked a lot to get a formula to create the pulse stabilizer. And when we tested the machine, something unexpected happened. I'm remembering it clearly. I have never been so frightened in my life. Christian, the machine is totally unstable! I don't think I can hold much longer. The singularity is on the making. That means that the pulse stabilizer failed. Never mind. We gotta turn it off. It's accumulating too much energy. And if the singularity closes in in a stable way, the accumulated energy will create an expensive wave. At the time, I thought it was my fault. Sergio is the one responsible for all this. so handsome. Chatting within my memory with my version from the past would be bizarre. If I could get close to those cables, maybe if I unplug the machine. Don't even think about it, Christian. Guessing the power could bring about even worse consequences. It's the Machine Command Console. It's a good thing I couldn't reach it with my hands. If we turned off the machine while it was unstable, the result would have been much worse. It would be awesome to stretch my arm like Mr. Fantastic. 
But for now, if I let go, the hole will swallow me. It's the same periodic table on the photo I have with Nicholas. We must have taken it there. The board. Here at the lab. I worked hard to find the problem with the machine. If I let go of this table, the wormhole will swallow me. The professor was much younger and much more energetic. The years of this crisis took a toll. Professor! Yes! Professor, we're going up in the air! Yes, we got to turn off the machine! We'll think of something. Could you tell me the formula of the pulse stabilizer? Christian! I am the Nicholas of your memories! If you don't know, how should I? But check whether there's something on the board! The board is a little far. Well, you could have come up with that idea when we were not flying up in the air! What a temper! Professor! Yes! I don't understand what went wrong. My pulse stabilizer didn't work! Christian, your conclusions were perfect! We're clearly facing something beyond our knowledge! What's happening makes no sense! We'll talk some other time. Think of how we can turn off the machine! The teleportation machine. So many years working on it. So much effort. So many dreams. We gotta try to turn it off. But I don't know how. to those cables. Maybe if I unplug the machine. Don't even think about it, Christian! Guessing the power can bring about even worse consequences! Right. I was working on the formula on the board. If I focus on what I've written there, I might remember it. My memories are blurry, but I gotta make an effort. If only I could do away with the wrong memories. Something's not right. Let's start again. Mm, I'm sure these portions are not part of the formula. Formula is correct. Yes, I got it. This was the formula. I'm sure. Uh, I can't remember anymore. Nicholas. I managed to remember the whole formula. Really? That's the best news ever! Now I can go on building the new machine! I wrote it on the board. Perfect. I suppose you're already thinking how to rescue Pablo from Sergio, right? I didn't know I had to go rescue him. Of course. I'm really worried about him. That was the first thing I told you! No, you, you said nothing. Well, that must be something else you forgot. Memory loss is affecting you a lot. Ah, uh, huh. Thank you very much, Christian. You're very brave. After
After losing Esteban, I'm stuck thinking that Pablo may have the same end. Any idea where I can begin? Wounded prisoners are always taken to the hospital. We never knew their final destination. Maybe starting out there is a good option. To the hospital again? I keep going to that place. I'm afraid that we have more dangerous missions in the near future. Okay. At least I already know the hospital. Should be easy this time. The formula for the pulse stabilizer. With this, Nikolas can go on working on the new teleportation machine. Or is he building a better time machine? There are lists with the enrollment dates of the different college courses of studies. Hmm, all dated in 2015. I don't think they'll be of much use. The University Maintenance Guy. So, you are the famous Christian. Mm-hmm, I guess he's raving again. Last time I saw him, he was not very coherent. <laughs> I pretended very well, didn't I? I was never crazy. I just didn't know if you could be trusted. I said you're famous because the professor has been waiting for you forever. Your arrival became our last great hope. Then, if you know the professor, are you part of the resistance? One of the few left. You did fool me. I've always liked acting. So, you are also part of the Resistance. That's correct. My job is to mislead people who get to the university with no invitation. In your case, Nicholas had already told me you might arrive, but I had to make sure you were no imposter. I just gave you some clues for you to find the way. I was sure that if you were the real Christian, you'd figure it out. Fortunately, I was not wrong. How long have you been in university maintenance? Ugh, that was many years ago. You might not remember me, because I was much younger when you attended college. But I was already in maintenance the day of the incident. The day everything changed. Amazing. And how come you're still here? At the beginning, I was much like everyone else. Trying to survive. But one day I learned about a mysterious scientist who was putting together a resistance against Sergio. I didn't think twice and contacted him to be a part of it. When I learned it was Nicholas, I could hardly believe it. Ten years had gone by and he looked just the same. He told us everything about the sabotage to his machine. He was always very transparent with us. We'll talk later. See ya! It's a box. Mm, it's full of tools. There's a hammer, a wrench, a padlock cutter, channel lock pliers, screwdrivers, a steering wheel lock, a 1.8 turbo diesel engine, a ladder. I'd already checked this before. I don't need any of that. I don't want to carry that. The size of these columns has always called my attention. If it resisted the expansive wave of the machine, it makes no sense trying to move it. If I wear civilian clothes, I might be discovered.
If I wear civilian clothes, I might be discovered. It fits perfectly. That's it. Let's get this show on the road. Let's see if I can find Pablo inside. Okay, here we are. If they've already interrogated Pablo, they'll surely bring him here after. I'm really worried about what they can do to him. They're jars with medicines. Hmm, no. They're medicines. Doctors should use them with the ones who need them. There are things that they surely use with the patients. No, the doctors should use them with the ones who need them. Are nights cold? I'll take one just in case. some violet slippers. No, thank you. I already have my sneakers. It's the corridor guard. Hi. Hi. What are you watching over? The week's supplies came in today. Every time go less and less. So I was sent to watch over the rations. I didn't know that supplies were scarce. Yes, it's a problem. But Sergio has a plan, and he's putting it into action. At least, that's what we are told. Can I come in? Don't even think about it. Nobody goes in there. There are no patients in the hospital main room. Yes, all patients got away. Even one who was nearly unconscious. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, that, that's terrible. Of course. That's why Sergio decided to change all guards here. Do you like your job? Do you think it's fun to sit by a door all day long? Bye. See you. It's a map. It shows Argentina, but where Buenos Aires used to be. There's another country. I hope I'll wake up soon from this nightmare. Hey, the toilet is occupied! Sorry, are you okay? I was set up when I was on duty. I'm gonna kill the guy who gave me that alcohol with laxatives. Just a second. Your face looks familiar. Hmm, no, not possible. I started working with Sergio a little time ago. I'd better go. Okay, bye. Hey, let me take a closer look at you. Get back here! We better not be seen together. Okay. Interesting in it. She's the new hospital doctor. Hi. Hi. A lot of work? Fortunately, no wounded have been brought in today. Better for me. If I see blood, I faint. You look like a very nice person for this place. Not only murderers and mercenaries work for Sergio. Besides, since he took over the Garahan, there's not much of a choice. The first doctors resisted him. And they didn't do well. Yeah. How was the Garahan story? Can you help me remember? What did the first doctors do? After the expansive wave of destruction, my father and other doctors from the Garahan decided to stay here to serve the people who needed them. And how did Sergio take over the place? 
The Garahan was under siege, and they ran out of supplies. The doctors had to give in. They had no choice. Did all the doctors stay here? No. Some got away. They didn't want to serve Sergio. Others, like my father, stayed here. Do you know what happened to the doctor that was here before? The previous doctor? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. What a terrible story. I think I shouldn't have told you all this. Today's a nice day, isn't it? Yes, since there are no patients. I'm gonna read some novels. Where are the healthy hostages taken? I only know where the sick are brought, and that's here. Bye. Bye. Corporal Brizuela, good to see you. Um, hi. After the breakout, all the guards were replaced. Well, almost all. How could you get away with it? Hmm, <sighs> I got lucky. Good for you. When you have some time, we can talk about it. Sure. Hmm, they're old papers with information bulletins from the hospital. That's the tallest guard I've ever seen. Hi. Hi. Any news? Supplies arrived a while ago, but we can't even get close. Hernandez is watching the door. I'm dying to try some cookies. Need any help? Come on, put the radio away in the lockers. Okay. Look, there's no return. <laughs> what did he mean by that? I'll carry on with my round. It's a cardboard box. I already have a place to keep things. It's a metallic bucket. It's being used to contain the water from the leak. I don't think the guard will allow me to take it. A heavily armed guard. Hi. Hi. Any news? Everything's quiet. As long as nobody breaks out. <laughs> Have you been here long? Yes. I don't think I'll be relieved for a while. Let me know if I can help you somehow. Could you let me know when Fernandez gives up the second ration of the day? My mouth is really dry. Okay, bye. All right. It's Corporal Ramirez. Hi. Hi. What happened with the rest of the guards? They were replaced at the Purge, after the escape of a patient. Why the Purge? I don't know exactly. I was here watching the door, as usual, when many soldiers I had never seen walked in. It said that the boy they had found in Sector 3 had escaped from the hospital, and that everyone was arrested. They even found a guy tied up in the toilet. Crazy stuff. What a disaster. No wonder the usual guys are not here. Yep, and I know Sergio got mad. Why didn't they take you? My performance appraisals were always good, so they assumed that if there was a problem, it wasn't my fault. Now I have to be extremely careful. I don't think I'll be as lucky next time. Do you know where they took him? I have no idea. People say that there are cells in the Casa Rosada. That's a real hell. Do you know anything? No, I don't. This situation is getting worse. Sergio has never reacted like this. 
They say he's up to something big. Let's change the subject. Come on. Where did they get the supplies from? After the disaster, Sergei was smart in the subtle squad to take over supermarkets and food storages in the city. When supplies started to run out, he already had a smuggling net between the city and the rest of the country. Besides being taken over by Sergio, the city was in quarantine because nobody knew what had happened. When the government tried to do something, it was too late. Now people depend on him. And why are they so heavily watched then? Many years have gone by, and some time ago problems started with his connections outside the city, and the supplies coming from them are less and less. It must be hard to live isolated. It is. The question is, what side to support? And on Sergio's side, are the supplies. Is that why you work for him? Or do you actually support his cause? You know, either you support him, or you're in a cage. There's no choice. But how much longer will supplies be available? I don't know. I don't think for much longer. But it's obvious that Sergio is up to something. We'll talk later. Bye. Don't go far. I don't trust those new guards. Okay. It's the radio that one of the guards gave me. I don't think that's a good idea. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. I don't think it'll be useful. Here. No thanks, I'll pass. I already had to go then. My next guard shift is next week. Hi. Hi. Do you know the doctor? Eh? The doctor? Yes. Yes. I know her. We started out together at the hospital. Though the first time I saw her was when I got wounded after a chase. Are you friends then? Friends? The doctor and me? Of course not. Oh, well, never mind. I guess there's something between the soldier and the doctor. What do you know about the previous doctor? The doctor knew nothing. They think he helped on a jailbreak. He's locked up. I can't believe it. Did you know him? Uh... Sure, I ran into him at the hospital sometimes. Like everyone else, huh? Sure. Well, I also know him like that. He's the doctor's father. She's very sad. I don't like to see her like that. Bye. See you. Hi. Hi. The man in the corridor looks like he's watching something important. Fernandez? Yes, because the supplies have arrived. That makes me happy. You mean Fernandez or the supplies? <laughs> You're funny. Hmm. Is there something between the doctor and Fernandez? Let's see if she tells some more. Are you single, doctor? I think it's bad matters to know someone else's business. You're right, but I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. I don't think that'll be of any use. Hi. Hi. 
it me or there's something going on between the doctor and you? Uh, well, how did you realize? Both get pretty jittery when you talk about the other. Please, don't tell anyone. What's the problem that you're together? Sergio doesn't trust any doctors. When he took over, the doctors made the Garahan resistance. Since then, he doesn't trust them and doesn't want us to mingle with them. Well, that's too bad. I have an idea. I can cover you so you can meet. But you'd be running a high risk. No problem. Let me see what she thinks. Oh, thanks a lot. You're the best. Bye. See you. Hi. Hi. Fernandez told me everything. If you want, I can cover you so you can meet. I just met you and you think I'm gonna trust you? How can I know you're actually gonna cover me? You might be looking for evidence to report us. Bye. Bye. I don't think that'll be of any use. This is useless. I don't think that's a good idea. It's the radio that one of the guards gave me. I'd rather not do it. I don't think that's a good idea. It's the hot dog guy. His car is broken, and there's a wheel missing. Hello. What are you doing here with this hot dog stand? I'm selling hot dogs. What do you think? I guess you're going to have few customers. The city's almost deserted. There are a few people left, but those people need to eat. Being the only hot dog seller has some benefits. Would you like one? No, I'm not hungry right now. You're lost. How come I didn't see you before? I ask you the same thing. I've been here with my hot dog stand every Monday for over ten years and I never saw you. Where did you come from? A wormhole? Uh, no. I don't usually come by on Monday. Mm-hmm. And our sales? Well, I haven't sold much today. It's vacation time and there are few people. You're nuts. There's nobody ever around. Well, they ordered delivery. Are you a spy? Spy? For whom? I don't know. Sergio? Look, I sell them hot dogs. But that doesn't mean that I spy for them, does it? That means that you have information about them. I know quite a lot, but I can't disclose information. Because it'd go against the hot dog guy's professional ethics. <laughs> That's for psychologists. Well... In my free time, I also give them psychology services. 
Give me a hot dog. I can't sell you one. They're all booked. But you offered me one. I've just received a booking from the Garahan Guards. Sorry. A booking? <laughs> Nobody's been here. They sent me an SMS. I see you have a lot of sodas. Can you give me one? I can only sell sodas by the pack. You run a weird business. I'm your only customer and I can't buy anything. I have no choice. Otherwise, the margins kill me. I'll get the soda pack. Okay. Look for a way to repair the cartwheel. And I'll give you the pack of sodas. I have money. Would this do? Money? You mean that paper that was used in the past? Yeah, that's it. No thanks. Money is of no use here. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Bye. See you. A classic little Fiat. After crashing, it was dismantled. Not even the seats were left. Some plants are growing inside. There's nothing useful. Let's see what's inside. There's nothing in there. They're the internal circuits of the subway turnstile. It'd be interesting to get the card reader, but I can't get it this way. It's screwed to the turnstile circuitry. Let's see if I can remove the magnetic reader. Excellent. It's a magnetic reader. I don't know why I grab. I don't need to go back to Pablo's hideout. It's the map of the subway stations. Access is blocked with debris. Impossible to go this way. What for? Actually, no. If I need it, I'll come back and get it. I don't think that'll be of any use. That's not going to help at all. Hmm, no. There's a hammer, a wrench, a padlock cutter, channel lock pliers, screwdrivers, a steering wheel lock, a 1.8 turbo diesel engine, a ladder. I'd already checked this before. I don't need any of that. 
I don't want to go down that way again. That's the table Nikolas must work at. It's full of papers with notes. They're the attempts of Nikolas to make the machine. Hello? What's up? So, I knew you in the past. Sorry, but I don't remember you much. Don't worry. Though I always remembered your names, as time went by, I started to forget what you and Nikolas looked like. When Nikolas arrived in our time and found me, I took him for a homeless. <laughs> I think we should have gotten more photos taken. Were you alone after the incident? Do you want to hear the whole story? Of course. Though I was a little girl, I always remembered Nikolas. The fame he got after signing the contract with Sergio never distanced him from his research. His enthusiasm and commitment allowed him to get the key. To build the teleportation machine. He looked very happy back then. But the machine failed. And many things happened that day. Both you and Nikolas vanished mysteriously. The city was in chaos. The expansive wave pulled down half the buildings in the city of Buenos Aires. Sergio grasped the chance and overtook the city helped by a paramilitary group. He took over the Casa Rosada. And so his dictatorship started. <laughs> Now we gotta think of the future. Were you alone after the incident? Do you want to hear the whole story? Of course. Though I was a little girl, I always... That's a terrible story. That's the past. Now we gotta think of the- Thanks. You are welcome. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't want to take any of this. Professor. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Quite high. I won't go up this way. That's what I have the rope for. Stabon collected. It's a magnetic reader. I don't know why I grabbed it, but for 
for sure it's going to come in handy. There are two blueprints. One of them looks like some kind of machine. The other, though, is the blueprint of a device. For some reason, they look familiar. That'll be of any use. Let's see what's behind this door. Buddy, if I let you go in there, I'll be in trouble. My mission is to watch that nobody gets in the storage. I don't want to end up like the other guards who let the prisoners escape. No, sorry. I obviously don't want to get you into trouble. I already know this one. I don't want to bother the big guy anymore. Nature has called him. Hi. Hi. What do you know about the previous doctor? The doctor knew nothing. They think he helped in a jailbreak. He's locked up. I can't believe it. Did you know him? Uh, sure. I ran like everyone else. Sure. Well, I also know he's the doctor, so he's very sad. Bye. See you. It's your turn. Don't look at me. I think you're wrong. I'll never leave this position. You asked me to put away the radio. Where are the lockers? Actually, I'd tell you anything so that you'd pick it up. We had given that radio to go where the hostages are. Worst job. Everybody screaming, crying. Take it away. I don't want to see it anymore. Here. No thanks, I'll pass. I already had to go then. My next guard shift is next week. Now. exit door. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. Corporal Ramirez. Maintenance appears to not be a priority. I don't think that'll be of any use. You 
asked me to put away the radio. Where are the lockers? Actually, I'd tell you anything so that you'd pick it up. We had given that radio to go where the hostages are. The worst job. Everybody's screaming, crying. Take it away. I don't want to see it anymore. The hospital exit door. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. All right. this one. These bars look quite resilient. I'd rather not do it. Oh, I remember something. This was one of those fast food stores. I guess. There's definitely nobody. Typical Buenos Aires phone booth. Ruined. No, someone stole the payphone. It's shocking to see Obelisco in that shape. With whom? With the gnome that lives inside? It's Cologne Theater. One of the best theaters in the world. I remember it was restored a few years ago, back in 2010. Actually, many years ago. That's not going to help at all. I don't think that'll be of any use. I don't think that's a good idea. Hello. Give me a hot dog. I can't say you want. They're all booked. But you offered me one. I've just received a booking from the Garahan Guards. Sorry. A booking? <laughs> Nobody's been here. They sent me an SMS. Bye. See you. I don't think that'll be of any use. I 
don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Hi. Hi. We'll talk later. See ya. Hmm. I see it's full of debris. I can't go up this way. This console must be to operate the teleportation machine. I'd better not turn it on. They haven't made it work yet. It's Nicholas's computer. I'd better not touch it. I don't want Nicholas to get mad at me. Professor. Yes. Thank you. You. I can't use those things together. This is useless. I don't need a fire extinguisher. I don't need to open it. It's the button to call the elevator. I would, if there was a button. They're all broken. No, I might cut myself. Oof, that mattress does not look good. Hmm. Better not. It's the light switch. I better not touch it. Hi. Hi. the healthy hostages taken? I only know where the sick are brought, and that's here. Fernandez told me everything. If you want, I can cover you so you can meet. 
I just met you and you think I'm gonna trust you? How can I know you're actually gonna cover me? You might be looking for evidence to report us. Bye. Bye. That's not gonna help at all. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. I don't think that'll be of any use. 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 With these bed sheets, I could dress as a ghost. <laughs> Please, what's the problem? Sergio, when he took over, the doctors made the gear. Since then, he doesn't want us to. Oh, that's too. I have an idea. I can cover you. But you'd be running a hot. No problem. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you. That's not going to help at all. they haven't cleaned in years. I won't clean this. What for? It's not the time to rest. What for? Papers. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. The hospital exit door. The hospital exit door. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. back. It's not the time to rest. Gave me. If you have it, it's your turn. 
Don't look at me. Hi. Hi. Any news? Everything's quiet. As long as nobody breaks out. <laughs> Have you been here long? Yes. I don't think I'll be relieved for a while. Let me know if I can help you somehow. Could you let me know when Fernandez gives up the second ration of the day? My mouth is really dry. Okay, bye. All right. I don't think it'll be useful. arrived a while ago, but we can't even get close. Fernandez is watching the door. I'm dying to try some cookies. Why do you say it's the worst job? Well, there's this stench. Is one of the hostages a blonde boy? A kind of geek one? Yes, yes, with a cap and glasses. Yes, he's there. For a while, he was screaming to be released, but he learned his lesson. <laughs> It must be horrible to be in there. Didn't you ever stand guard there? No, that's why I forgot where it is. <laughs> You're funny. I actually don't like guys like you. Besides, you ask too many questions. Hi. I'm busy right now. I can't talk. Hi. Hi. We'll talk later. Bye. I don't trust them. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Bye. All right. You asked me to put away the radio. Where are the lockers? Actually, I'd tell you anything so that you'd pick it up. We're giving that radio to go where the hostages are. Worst job. Everybody's screaming, crying. Take it away. I don't want to see it anymore. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. Corporal Ramirez won't let me out. It's the exit sign. I don't think I'll need them. I think you're wrong. I'll never leave this position. If you have it, it's your turn. Don't look at me. Shame on you! 
Men like gossip more than women do. Actually, I realized you two are very evident. The thing is that since my father was sent to prison, I'm scared. If they learn about my relationship with Fernandez, they might hurt him. If only we had a place to talk. Let me ask Fernandez. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Everything's ready. I'll cover you. Great. I thought she didn't want to see me anymore. She's very scared about her father. I know. You should go check the entrance guards first. Perfect. Good luck. Bye. See you. I guess I've given them enough time. I already know this room, and there's nothing interesting in it. But I don't know what that tie means. I haven't seen it before. Locked. I hope they haven't changed the combination. Excellent. I see they haven't changed the combination. It's a poor rat. Cleanliness doesn't seem to be a priority here. I don't think that bothering it is a good idea. Hello? All I need is a flute and I'm ready to hypnotize it. the closet of the storage. I've checked it several times. I don't think there's anything new in there. They really have few supplies. They have more cleaning products than food. Do they eat too much or clean too little? None of these things is of any use. I've always preferred club soda to water. I'm gonna take one of these. Might be useful. Or I might get thirsty. They're wine bottles. They look like good wine. I'm gonna take one. I might share it with someone. They look empty. I guess they have fewer and fewer supplies. And all these boxes are for show. I don't want to carry empty boxes. It's wine. I had better not drink, otherwise it'll loosen my tongue. <laughs> it's a carbonated water siphon. So, you wanted something to drink. Looks like a great wine. Is it a Malbec? Yes, sure. Great. Now, we need to look for a quiet place to enjoy it. Because those two may rat us out. Okay, you keep it and we'll see how we can manage. Take the help 
the hostages. I watched the exit. I don't know anything about hostages. We'll talk later. Bye. Don't go far. I don't trust those new- Okay. Hi. I'm busy right now. I can't talk. Hi. Hi. There's nobody in the storage. You can take a break and taste the wine. And I'll join you if you want. Okay. After this many hours on duty, I deserve a break. Go over there and wait for me. Okay. Bye. See you later. Cool that you found this place where we can drink this hell of a wine. You try it first. How is it? I'm glad you like it. kicked in fast. How's the wine? It's really good. <clears throat> Want another drink? <clears throat> no, thanks. I'm fine. Did you know Fernandez and the doctor are together? Is that confirmed? <clears throat> I suspected something. Fernandez deserves that. He's a nice guy. <clears throat> Gossip? Looks like the boss is planning something big. Do you know what it's about? No idea. <laughs> he never tells me anything. Do you know anything about the hostages? That they are behind bars. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to make him talk, but I have to take advantage of his condition to make him tell me where Pablo is. I'll let you enjoy the wine. Go. Go. You're a good friend. The bottle's empty. Now, one is enough. I've checked it several times. I was given this for you. What? To the sewer gun? <laughs> it's full of animals that smells like lion piss. Besides, <laughs> everybody keeps screaming for help there. Well, if you don't want to go, I can go instead. Thanks. I'm not in condition to go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> the zoo, then? Yeah. The beasts are locked up with the beasts. <laughs> so Pablo is locked up in the zoo. I gotta hurry. Poor Pablo. being used to contain the water from the leak. I don't think the guard will allow me to take it. Hi. Hi. We'll talk about Bye. I don't... Okay. Not 
Doctor! Sir, what a surprise to see you here! I come to know the status of the portal. Well, how can I put this? I guess I have some bad news. The portal that the boy crossed to get here has just closed. What? Dear Doctor, I guess you have just signed your... Wait, you still need me. Not everything is lost. There is still a chance. Speak fast. Before my friend... Sir, if we manage to turn on one of Nicholas's machines with a certain setup, we're convinced the time travel you want will be achieved. And what are you waiting for to assemble? Well, sir, we have tried hundreds of times. But unfortunately, we need Nicholas to solve this. You're a bunch of incompetence. I always end up depending on the same person. I no longer need you or your team. I will find Nicholas. Are you listening to me, Professor? I will find you. Looks like an arcade machine. I don't know how to make it work in order to play. I like the color, but it's not in my size. Theft is not a part of my moral and ethical codes. They're the prizes for the winners. I gotta win them, not just grab them. It's the Hit Those Moles Players Leaderboard. The prize for the first place is a giant teddy bear. I'm not interested in having that. It's a bullseye to practice shooting. Theft is not a part of my moral and ethical codes. Buenos Aires Zoo. It's a pity to see it half destroyed and turned into a place to lock up innocent people. I hope things will change soon. It's the first time I've seen a small tank like that. People don't have food, but Sergio's soldiers have top-notch weaponry. How unfair. I'm here to rescue Pablo. If I run away with this small tank, I'm going to call too much attention and I won't achieve anything. I don't want to imagine how those bullet holes got there. I don't know what I could do with that sign, other than feel sorry for what this place has become. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? I'd like to enter the zoo. It's closed, so turn around and walk away. He's a fair vendor. Try your luck. Come, play. I can't believe you're here. What a place to set up a game stand. Entertainment is pretty rare around this area. Amusement is always welcome. Here, get these chips so you can play for free whenever you want. How generous. What are the chips you gave me for? With these chips, you can try your luck at... Hit those moles! A game in which even those who lose... I don't know it. You can test your reflexes, hitting moles that pop out of the holes. If you like it and you're out of chips, you can always play it on your smartphone, Android or iOS. Hmm, very top-notch. A lot of work? 
This has been pretty calm for a while, but you gotta do something not to get bored. Are you also a part of Sergio's team? No, I do my job here. As long as I don't mess with Sergio, they let me be. How can I win the giant teddy bear? To win the bear, you have to beat Hit Those Moles a million times. Wow, that's like saying it can't be won. I don't know. Several guards keep coming to play, and we have a leaderboard to see who goes at the top. Okay, bye. Okay, but drop by sometime to try your luck at Hit Those Moles! A game in which even those who lose, win! That's the guard watching the entrance to the zoo. Hi. Hi. Is admission free? <laughs> Only if you come to work. Are you new here? Um, <clears throat> yes. I've recently joined Sergio's forces, so I'm learning. Can I go in? I wasn't told someone was coming over, so I can't let you in. Do prisoners cause a lot of trouble? Only when they first arrive. Then they give up and shut up. My cousin works here and invited me to spend a day at work with him. If you want to see your cousin, wait for him here outside until he comes out. I'm here to help the lions. I've been told they're quite noisy. I can't hear them from here. I'll carry on with my round. See ya! doesn't fit into the slot. I'm gonna have to find another way to play Hit Those Moles. If you wanna play, give me the chip! Okay. I'd like to try my luck. Welcome to Hit Those Moles! Where even those who lose... What can this be? on the machine. This is useless. I'd like to try my luck. Welcome to Hit Those Moles, where even those who lose win! How hard can this be?
as a prize, you win this excellent rubber mouse. Just what I needed, a rubber mouse. To entertain the cat I don't have. I don't even have a house. Or a girlfriend. Or a family. Or... Who's next? Who's next? It's a rubber mouse. It looks real. Surely it can scare someone. I'm coming from Hospital Gatahan. I was given this and sent here. Oh, then you're my replacement! Right, your replacement. You can take a break now. Cool. I'm gonna stay here having some mates. I won't bother you. I'll go in to say hi to the rest of the guys. Go right in. Pablo, here you are. Is it you, Christian? I can't believe it. I'm here to rescue you. Great. Do you have the key to open this cage? No, I don't have it. But I'll get it. Sure. It couldn't be that easy. Please get me out of here. The stench in this cage is unbearable. Listen, someone's coming. The guard? Yes. He's always by the cage watching me. Nobody wants to be responsible for another breakout. There's gossip about the one who escaped in broad daylight. Who was it? What are you looking at? Who are you? What are you doing here? Pablo, follow my lead. Okay. My apologies. I was distracted. What were you saying? You're not up to something, are you? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a UN representative running an audit. What? Nobody told me anything. What are you talking about? This is a surprise inspection. Partly to reach Sergio's goals. What can you tell me about your leader? Sergio is our leader. He defines what we do, how, and why. We act accordingly. They should have informed you. My role is key to achieve Sergio's objectives. In that case, let me know if I can help you with anything. I will. A wooden box. Apparently they use it as an improvised ladder to reach the cage. I don't need that. Pablo's guard. little monkey. He doesn't seem very sociable. Hmm. What's that monkey looking for? It's very high. That's not going to help at all. of the monkeys. I gotta find a way to open this cage. <laughs> I'm not the Hulk. I can't open it with my bare hands. That's Pablo, an expert in computers. And just the person I'm looking for. As I was telling you before, the guard interrupted us. I'm here to check compliance on the Nelson Mandela rules. What? What are you talking about, Christian? Prisoner! Oh, right, right. I get it, Mr. Inspector. The, um, the, the Nelson hold is a very important rule. Don't talk nonsense. I said Nelson Mandela rules, not Nelson hold. The Mandela rules are a set of principles, which include respect for human dignity and the irrevocable prohibition of torture and any inhumane, cruel, or degrading treatment. You're very smart, Mr. Inspector. When you entered your cell, were you told the day and time of your release? Honestly, no, I don't have that information or any indication of it. The guard doesn't answer my questions. Yes, I know what you mean. 
Are you okay? Have you been hurt? Do you have any complaints? Listen, I'm not treated very well. I only have some bruises, but I don't know how long I'll be like this. They tried to interrogate me, but I told them nothing. They told me that next time I was not going to enjoy it. Right. Then I'll try to solve this situation right away. If you want, I can tell you more about the origin of the rules. I'm having a pretty bad time. Any information you can give me will be of help. The minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners were the result of a long and difficult process which started back in 1926 and were finally approved by the first United Nations Congress on crime prevention and criminal justice in 1955. Bye. See ya. Would you like to add something to my report? I have nothing to say! What are you eating? Mint candy! Can I have one? No, they're mine! It's very hard to get candy these days! Were you instructed on the Mandela rules? If it's within Sergio's plans, of course! Then you must know that although they're not legally binding, they were adopted as an international standard for prisoners. Sure, Sergio always has an ace up his sleeve. Mandela rules make everything work better, right? Sure, that's what Sergio always says. Improving the treatment of prisoners, in line with penitentiary science and best practices, in order to promote decent conditions for prisoners. Just what I was saying. I'll carry on with my round. See ya! Looks more like the lizard's cage than an elephant cage. I don't think I can go in. <laughs> the elephant won't let me. I recognize that elephant. But of course, that's Dahlia, the elephant. I remember when I was a kid, and I'd come with my family to see her. And I guess she doesn't want to be bothered. I'd better leave her alone while she's eating. Hi, Dahlia. How are you? I guess she doesn't want to be bothered. Elephants are said to be afraid of mice. Yes, elephants are quite fearful. It's a bag full of peanuts. They're peanuts, the elephant's food. I don't think I can go in.
That's not gonna help at all. Excuse me, would you like some peanuts? Only that old elephant gets peanuts. The rest don't get any. Pablo's guard. He's being attacked by a monkey. I don't need that. It won't be easy to open the cage. It's the cage door. Are you okay? Yes, thanks! I don't know where that monkey came from! Without your help, I wouldn't have made it! You saved my life! So, you wanted some mints? Here, you deserve them, as a show of gratitude. Very few help out. Great, thanks. I need to change my clothes, I am soaked! Can you cover me for a few minutes? Sure, we're here to follow the plan. to open the cage. It's the cage door. Mmm, no. It's a mince pack. That's not gonna help at all. Hello? Hello. Any idea how to get you out of here? Not really. I can do wonders with the computer, but I'm no good for anything else. Are you okay? Have you been hurt? Listen, I'm not treated very well. But at least I haven't been tortured yet. They asked me a lot of questions, but I didn't answer any of them. Told me I was not going to enjoy the next interrogation. I gotta get you out of here ASAP. I gotta come up with something. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>